The nationally accredited Department of Music at Eastern takes pride in providing exceptional training for music educators, performers, and composers. We have an outstanding record for job placement and our graduates are respected leaders in all fields of music. We offer a Bachelor of Music Education and a Bachelor of Music Performance with concentrations in instrumental, vocal, keyboard, composition, and jazz studies. One of our biggest programs here at EIU is the Music Education Program. And it's something that I think we do extremely well. We've got a fantastic music education faculty headed up by Dr. Larson, who is just a, a brilliant mind, a great teacher, um, and is just really great at working with students and teaching them how to teach. We work very hard with the College of Education and collaborate with them to provide wonderful opportunities for our students. Um, there's quite a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction with students, and we get to know all of our students very closely and work with them all the way through the program. But our students are prepared. They will graduate with a license from the state of Illinois. They will be prepared to teach anything K-12 music and, of course, be prepared for going on to further their graduate education if they so desire. Our faculty here at EIU are mostly young um, and energetic people. They're professionals who are performing regularly but they've all decided that teaching is their main gig. And so they're here the majority of the time and they're invested in students. I love the process of watching a college student come in as a freshman, as essentially a high school kid, and then hopefully, if everything goes right, that person leaves in four or five years as an adult and as a better musician and a productive, happy person. And I, I just, I, lo I love to be involved in that we can give you more attention than um, any school that I know of. What distinguishes us is that we actually get to use the facilities. So when we're rehearsing, we rehearse where we're going to perform rather than being in a basement somewhere and then moving to our performance venue. We have uh, four performance spaces that we use regularly. The, the biggest one is the concert hall. And um, I believe it seats about 600 people. Um, it has a copper canopy over the stage, really nice, large, deep stage. And so that's where the largest performances are. We've got a recital hall where all of our students give their student recitals. And a lot of times at uh, other schools, you have to go into a smaller facility or a smaller room and give a recital. You just don't have the opportunity to play in a world-class uh, chamber music setting that we have here. The theater it seats about 260 people and um, has really nice acoustics for a jazz group. The black box is a little more intimate space, and our combos frequently perform in there. It's a creative place where folks are constantly learning new things and hearing new music, playing new music. We have several state-of-the-art practice rooms made by Wenger, the Wenger Corporation. And uh, the really cool thing about them is you walk in and you close the door and they are, they're uh, isolated in terms of sound bleed. There's very little sound bleed out and you can't really hear anything going on outside in the practice room. Additionally, you push little buttons on the wall that make it sound like you're in different uh, performance venues, such as a cathedral or a recital hall, a concert hall. You can have it sound just like a practice room, very dead, no reverb at all. A lot of the faculty here use uh, technology in teaching. Uh, for example, I use a program called Smart Music, which probably a lot of high school students are familiar with. It's a, a computerized accompaniment program. All of our facilities are set up with the recording instruments already in the recital hall, already in Dvorak. And so all the student has to do to record is to engage one of our audio engineers, and then they can get a high quality recording of the rehearsal, of their performance, and that's really how you learn to sing, is by listening to yourself and analyzing um, and sitting down with your teacher and getting feedback on your performances.
Well, we cater to both music majors and non-majors. So we have ensembles that are uh, a little bit more intense in terms of the amount of time that they rehearse and the amount of outside time commitment. Um, and those are predominantly for music majors and very talented non-music majors. But we also have lots of ensembles. There's a jazz ensemble, a concert band, there's lots of non-majors in the orchestra, the marching band, the pep band. So there's really a place for everyone to play, no matter what it is that they like to do. And we do two musical productions a year. In the fall we do a musical, and in the spring we do an opera. What is unique is that we cast undergraduates, um, and so we're primarily an undergraduate program, and so instead of waiting till your junior or senior year to get on stage, you're being cast as a freshman, as a sophomore, and you go from supporting roles on up to main roles as you get older and more experienced. Each semester, jazz students play in a big band and a combo, um, and these groups give regular performances on campus and in the community. Here at EIU, we have three different choral ensembles that serve a wide variety of students, um, from the non-major who sings for hobby, to the major who's preparing for a career in music. So in addition to the formal concerts that they give as part of jazz ensemble or concert band or something like that, we try to arrange as many performance experiences as possible. And plus, we also have um, ensembles that are not on the books, but students participate in just for fun. Uh, in my area, those are brass quintets. Uh, we generally have three or four active student brass quintets. Just send me an email and we'll set up an entire visit EIU for a music program for a day. Um, and if they shoot me an email, I basically put them in touch with whoever's going to be teaching their instrument. They usually get a free private lesson. We take them to a couple of music classes. They can sit in and watch the ensembles. I usually meet with them and their parents to answer any questions they have. So it's a very accessible place. Um, if you're interested in it, I would highly encourage you to come check it out. Come visit, shoot me an email, shoot anyone on the faculty an email. We're all very approachable and we would love to have you come visit.